So voltage in the body is very much like your checking account at the bank. The, the checking account at the bank is determined by how many deposits do you make and how many checks do you write. And so it is with the battery packs in the human body. So the, on one side, it's how many electrons are we putting in. And there are a lot of electron donors. Electron donors can be getting out in the sun, can be walking barefoot in the grass. It can be leaning up your body up against a tree because the tree has electrons and will donate them to you. Um, hugging an animal, you know, a common way that makes people in nursing homes feel better is to buy them a dog or a cat. They hold the dog or the cat and get electrons from it. The, the animal runs outside and recharges itself and brings some back to you. Moving water in is an electron donor. Um, whereas still water tends to be an electron stealer. Moving air is an electron stealer. Uh, so that's why when you ride in a convertible, you look really cool, but you're always tired when you get there because the wind is the, steals electrons from you. So on one hand, we look at what things can put electrons in the body and then what things steal them. And again, the, the most common stealers are dental infections, emotional baggage, various toxins, uh, uh, particularly the toxins that we are getting from things like GMO foods um, and pesticides and other kinds of things, air pollution. There's a lot of toxins around us. And of course, one can almost include in the concept emotional baggage. They're toxins in a different way in that they rob us of voltage that we should be using for something else.